assalamu alaikum in the last class we were talking about looking for accommodation as in how you can go and ask for room for rent or a house for rent right so we've learned the basics as such but today we'll look into some of the examples all right so if you are approaching a hotel for reservations making reservations uh, there is a sample dialogue here which i found over the net all right receptionist good morning welcome to the grand woodward hotel hi good morning i'd like to make a reservation for the third weekend in september do you have any vacancies yes sir we have several rooms available available for that particular weekend and what is the exact date of your arrival the 24th how long will you be staying i'll be staying for two nights i'll be staying you know you have to use the verb will all right because you're speaking of future date how many people is the reservation for there will be two of us and would you like a room with twin beds or a double bed i've already given an explanation of what twin bed is what double bed is i don't think i need to go through it again a double bed please great and would you prefer to have a room with a view of the ocean if that type of room is available i would love to have an ocean view what's the rate for the room your room is 590 dollars per night what now what name will the reservation be listed under charles hanian could you spell your last name for me please sure h a n n i g h a n and is there a phone number where you can be contacted yes my cell phone number is so and so great now i'll need your credit card information to reserve the room for you what type of card is it visa so also this is one of the things most times so you get asked when you're using your card debit card or credit card and most people get confused about when we when you are when they are asked about what type of card it is they start talking about platinum card or gold card no you either state first initially whether it's debit or credit card and then whether it is visa or something else um a master card or visa or something right the number is so and so and what is the name of the card holder you need to tell the name all right mr so and so your reservation has been made for the 24th of september for a room with a double bed and view of the ocean check in is at 2 o'clock if you have any other questions please do not hesitate to call us great thank you so much a pleasure we'll see you in september mr hanen hanigan i believe i it sounds sort of scottish oh, have a nice day right so see now this reservation is made over a phone i believe it's quite apparent from the way the conversation moves right so uh, the speaker is not present here the client is not present here um, face to face so he is making the reservation over the phone he is asking first of all do you have any vacancies first question is do you have any vacancies and when they are when he is told yes they do have several rooms available for that weekend um vacancies on particular day particular day or particular week okay so he gives the exact date on which he is about to arrive so he is asked how many days or nights he is going to be staying so he says two nights and the number of people who are going to stay with him so first of all whether there is or there are rooms available the availability of room is asked the second is on what day he is going to come and third how many days he are going to stay fourth um how many people are going to stay and fifth what kind of room they, they uh, he would require whether whether a double bed or single bed or a twin bed six um what kind of view is required of course this is not possible everywhere only where hotels are built in such a way that they have a certain view or these questions could be asked okay then this person um yeah this person then ask for 
the rate of the room how much it costs so see what's the rate of the room please repeat it a couple of times okay what's the rate of the room so this is something you often need to ask this kind of question is something you need to familiarize yourself because what rate is so and so what rate is so and so what's the price of that what is the cost of that there are different ways of asking the same question okay what is the price of something what is the rate of something what is the rent of something is it monthly or is it annual or you could ask mm, how much does it cost how much does it cost for a single piece how much does it cost for an entire pack right then what else is asked yes he is asked for his name his account number or cell phone number he is asked for his credit card information and name the card holder and that's about it right and finally he is given details as to when he can arrive what time the check in is whenever the word check in is used it's it is used to imply at the time to indicate the time indicate the time when someone is is someone is allowed to enter and make use of the facilities available at the hotel i mean uh, enter the room all right so your time will be calculated from that particular moment from the check in time for 24 hours okay each day and night would include 24 hours from the time of check in and in the next 24 hours again uh, you know uh, the second day would be calculated and so on finally until check out check out would be when you are uh, done with it i mean done staying at the hotel and you need to leave and you've packed your bags and you're uh, signing out at the reception that's that's your time of check out so your day will be calculated on the basis of check in and check out okay a day as in your stay there stay will be calculated in terms of check in and check out all right now when you are checking in you've got this one small example okay sample dialogues good afternoon welcome to the grand woodward hotel how may i help you i have a reservation for today it's under the name of hanigan can you please sell, spell that for me sir sure h a n n i yes mr hanigan we we have reserved a double room for you with a view of the ocean for two nights is that correct so uh, the hotel receptionist or whoever it is that's talking to the client puts everything all the details in one single sentence there is a reservation made there is a double room and the room is with a view of the ocean and it is for two nights right yes it is excellent we already have your credit card information on file if you'll just sign the receipt along the bottom please oh 590 dollars a night yes sir we are a five star hotel after all well fine i'm here on business anyway so at least i'm staying on the company's time what's included in this cost anyway a full continental buffet every morning free airport shuttle service and use of the hotel safe are all included so what's not included in the price well you will find a mini bar in your room use of it will be charged to your account also the hotel provides room service at an additional charge of course hmm okay so what room am i in room 487 here is your key to get to your room take the elevator on the right up to the fourth floor turn left once you exit the elevator and your room will be on the left hand side a bell boy will bring your bags up shortly great thanks should you have any questions or requests please dial 0 from your room there also there is internet available in the lobby 24 hours a day okay and what time is check out at midday sir okay thanks my pleasure sir have a wonderful stay at the grand woodward hotel okay it's a pretty lengthy conversation here um it seemed rather small when i first looked at it anyway <coughs> the usual welcome as in how you welcome uh, at any point the 
the client is welcome to the hotel and asked in what way he could be helped so the guest says that he is a reservation of course and he states the name clearly then the the receptionist confirms whether this is the kind of room that has been reserved for for whatever period and once it is confirmed um uh, certain formalities are done away with as in formalities in terms of credit card information and all that and he is made to sign well since uh, mr hanning and must already be familiar because the reservation has already been made is already familiar with the rent of the room he shouldn't exactly be surprised but if in case he wasn't uh, there is not exactly a problem i mean if you are going there for the first time and uh, you've only spoken about the reservation and not really talked about how much money it costs well you can you can talk about changing reservations if need be and if there is availability of further rooms that cost a little less okay so it's not necessary that you've made the reservation you have to fulfill it you've only booked it you know right so of course you need to stick to your plan but in case you find later on that they are charging more than they've already bargained for you can go ahead and ask them for a room that that costs a little less or you can cancel your reservation all right so if it is justified the money they are said uh, they are taking is justified then you can go ahead and stay there <laughs> no this is fun way of including that all like here so at least i am staying on a company's dime so the company is paying it doesn't matter if it's very expensive so so you can ask them what services are included in the rent okay the room rent right how much you how much ever you're paying you can ask them clearly so that you wouldn't be left wondering as to what services you can avail okay sometimes we are hesitant to ask initially so we are left wondering and finally we get to realize that we were eligible for certain benefits which we hadn't made use of all right so it is better okay this is something based on my own personal experience <laughs> so it's better to be informed beforehand so you can ask questions right away in the beginning itself ask them what kind of services will be provided for the rent money okay room rent so is uh, will the lunch be provided will three meals will be provided or is there going to be you know tea service or room service or or uh, can they make use of some uh, some play area for the kids or do they or with the play area will be charged like extra special or um, or will the newspaper will be provided for them every morning or uh, you could ask them about a uh, uh, water water you know drinking water supplies um, uh, will it be char- charged per bottle or uh, will it be sent to the room you know i mean there are different varieties of hotel okay not a, every a, a, not no two hotels give you the same kind of service so it's better to ask beforehand that is before you check in what kind of services will be provided for you once you for the amount you're going to pay for the room all right so having done that you can also ask what is not included in the price of course and uh, one okay so here the mini bar mini bar is something that will be charged extra it seems uh, there are times when you are told that uh, if you make use of the ac it will be an additional charge if you are going to make use of um, you know it's a few things like uh, probably the jacuzzi <laughs> it's going to be special charge or something like that all right so yes also uh, you can ask how do you contact the reception you can't every time uh, climb down the stairs or and get a lift to go and ask the receptionist right so you can ask them how to contact them i mean of course they they themselves will tell you you uh, know that a certain intercom is left in your uh, room through which you can you know ask the receptionist reception for any service they require right um yeah now here is a conversation on check out or getting to the airport check out here would as i said earlier check in is when the moment when you uh, when you agree to take the rent i mean uh, take the room for rent all right 
and uh, your time will be calculated your time of stay will be calculated from there right so check out would be the time when you are asking to be you know when you are when you leave the hotel leave the hotel as in when you wish to pay the bills and leave so that would be a time for check out so here is a uh, here is a sample dialogue for check out did you enjoy your stay with us yes very much so however i need and now need to get to the airport i have a flight that leaves in about 2 hours so what is the quickest way to get there we do have a free airport shuttle service that sounds great but will it get me to the airport on time yes it should the next sh shuttle leaves in 15 minutes and it takes approximately 15 25 minutes to get to the airport fantastic i'll just wait in the lounge area will you please let me know when it will be leaving of course sir oh before you go would you be able to settle the mini bar bill oh yes certainly how much will that be let's see the bill comes to 3750 how would you like to pay for that i'll pay with my visa thanks but i'll need a receipt so i can charge it to my company absolutely here we are sir if you like you can leave your bags with the porter and can load them onto the shuttle for you when it arrives he can that would be great thank you would you like to sign the hotel guest book too while you wait sure i had a really good stay here and i'll tell other people to come here that's good to hear thank you again for staying at the grand woodwood hotel so first of all when you're leaving the hotel you need to settle the bills second you can ask for directions and third you can compliment the hotel if it's been really good the service has been really good the room has been good and you've enjoyed the stay there you can make mention of that or else if you have found that uh, the the room was not exactly satisfactory or your stay was not satisfactory or the services were really poor you can make mention of the those two in very polite terms because that would help them um help them one sec improve their services in whatever way they can all right so unless the clients the customers Uh, let know the people the service providers that the service is poor they are going to be laboring under the belief that they they are really good and thereby being providing very poor service all right to everyone so if you find an opportunity where it needs to be told it requires to be told that a certain thing was not up to the mark or was i mean you don't need to be a whiner or a complainer there are people who complain even if they have had the best service but still if it has been really poor see if the toilets are clogged you need to tell them if uh, the um, if the if the bed covers were shabby you need to tell them if um, if the if the food um, you know provided was was of less quantity or was of uh, um, was of inferior quality well you do need to tell them because they do charge you for that right and nothing is provided free free for you nothing is given free so it's better to be outspoken about it but not rude okay you can be polite and state the um, you know the problem very clearly secondly you can ask for directions when you are leaving uh, the hotel you can ask them to direct uh, you to the next place from where you can take up a, a plane or a or or a bus or uh, probably uh, you know uh, something whatever you require you can ask them to direct you of course they will and they may even have services to those places okay they may have cabs or they may have vans that go go to those places all right so that is one of the things you could do with them and also some hotels do have um, um guest book okay guest book as in a book where the guests relay the experiences no it's not like novel length experiences that they relate it's mostly short um short compliments complimentary notes that are written in those books by the guests who have stayed there who have made the stay in the hotel so that uh, they can highlight in their website or if it's really good they may you know uh, put it in their um brochure and all those things all right so mm, you may be asked to write i mean it not it does not happen all the time but in some hotels if, if as in a five star hotel they do ask you to sign in a guest book all right 
and moreover if it's, if you are a really very important person they would really really definitely ask for an autograph or something or and a complimentary note right uh, relating to your stay there so you could compliment them if if the service has been good or uh, make a complaint a very polite complaint politely worded complaint as to what the faults were and how they could improve and and you could simply you know settle your bills and leave say thank you and leave all right this is for um staying at a hotel okay check in check out or oh, making reservation checking in and check out right now we'll move on to something as to how you can um rent a house houses in like when you uh, go talk to a landlord to rent a house for yourself on a monthly basis oh, okay so we'll go to that now so i happened to come across this another blog that speaks of that tells you as to how you can approach the landlord how you can talk see most of the time we do, this is another one of those instances where we feel awkward about talking right some people do but as some for some those who can converse well it's not it's a, it's just a piece of cake but for the rest of us it is very difficult to talk to a landlord especially when you're looking for a home um and 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 you know so not merely Uh, looking for a home for yourself but uh, even uh, y- you may be looking for a shop to open or you could be looking for some you know coaching center or whatever so it's not merely home we are discussing any place any place you're looking to rent you need to approach the landlord of the place and of course some landlords are really humble polite and and make you feel at ease but there are some who try to intimidate you right from the beginning so that um well they they, they do have their reasons as in they may have been uh, duped or cheated by some people and uh, that though that that experience have made them extra cautious and uh, would have made them you know look at everyone with suspicion of course the landlords are bound to look at you as a stranger bound to look at you with some suspicion so you need to be have a you need to have a direct approach a direct approach in the, as in uh, don't use any roundabout language to or, or or come up come across as hiding something okay be straightforward in your manner and speak your bit politely without any confusions all right so when you're first organizing an appointment to look at a room house or house or apartment to rent you can make use of these sentences okay try to memorize these sentences familiarize yourself by repeating it again and again i mean just having stored it in memory is not enough you need to practice you need to practice it again and again my name is so and so I saw your advertisement of a room house apartment to rent and I'm very interested. Now this is something you can use just about anywhere even when you are looking for a car or used car or maybe when you're looking for some real estate or you could be um, you know or, or even when you're approaching uh, for a job a job interview okay my name is so and so first you introduce yourself and you could say state where you saw or how you came about to be in that place looking for a room okay i saw your advertisement advertisement and i am very interested okay i am interested when would it be convenient for me to view the room please when would it be convenient for me to view the room please may i see the room simple very simple I would like to see the room. When would it be convenient for me to view the room? I'm sorry, I'm only able to view after 6 o'clock in the evening or at weekends due to my work commitments. So if the person says that you need to come in the mornings, you could state that I am sorry that I am busy in the mornings and I could come only in the week evening or at the weekends due to my work commitments. I could view the room in my lunch break between 12 and 2 p.m. So that's Wednesday evening at 6 p.m. I look forward to meeting you. Okay. So first, 
you state your name you state where you came across the advertisement and you show your interest once you've shown your interest you could ask for when you could see the room or the house then you could state your constraint time constraint and then you could give them a time when you are free and of course uh, settle on a time that is convenient for both both you and the la landowner when you meet the landowner landlord and view the room or apartment so when you've already met the landlord when you are going to you've already mm, fixed you know organizing an appointment you speak in this manner when you meet the landlord and view the room or apartment these sentences could come in handy does the rent include the costs of water and heating how much are the electricity electricity gas water bills for a year now this is something that is not included in indian system um because we tend to give rent um in the whole rent the whole rent is in where electricity is paid separately and the gas is uh, paid separately and the water bills we don't have any water bills here unless you own the owner has to pay the water bills and the owner includes that money that amount in the rent itself right we don't have to pay separate bills okay a separate bill for water alone so it's mainly elect electricity and gas right and some maintenance yes is there a telephone connection i need to be able to get internet access how many other rooms are let in the building how many people share the bathroom or kitchen is there a laundry room so this studio apartment has an open plan area which is for living sleeping and cooking for us with a separate bathroom so this apartment has an open plan living area with kitchenette a separate bedroom and a bathroom do you have an apartment available with its own separate kitchen bedroom and bathroom is there a washing machine dishwasher in the kitchen do any of the other tenants have children am i allowed to redecorate the rooms how long is the rental lease for do i have to pay a security deposit how many have many other people viewed the room already when will you decide who gets the room when would i be able to move in how much notice am i allowed to use the garden as a rear or does it belong to the ground floor apartment a list of dialogues you can make use of so that you would remember first of all see as i said earlier you need to make a checklist okay before you approach a landlord it's better to make a checklist as to what your requirements are based on that checklist you can ask the questions appropriate questions necessary questions so that you, i mean it's very easy to succumb to uh, diversions to to distractions you get we, we get easily distracted when we are put in a new situation so we start looking at the house we have so many ideas before we um, you know uh, get started and once we start looking at the house we uh, i mean our brain is scattered so much uh, okay not all of our brains are not all of us are scattered brains but still it so happens that most of the time we tend to forget what exactly we were looking for we get sidetracked okay because of the issues that the the, the present itself uh, you know the the present themselves uh, during the course of looking at the home all right so you may have to first of all remember to ask about um about whether uh, water is available especially in in indian terminology it's mainly whether drinking water is available right so first of all you need to ask whether drinking water is available or do you need to fetch it from elsewhere uh, is water available 24/7 because in most places uh, due to water scarcity you don't get water all day it'll be uh, you know you'll get water in the morning and sometimes in the evening that's about it so you need to ask if water is available you know uh, 24/7 and you need to ask whether drinking water is available right and then or uh, you can ask for tab uh, telephone c connection if it's a room that is you know a let but most houses don't have uh, telephone connections you'd have to get a separate connection yourself so you could ask about how many other flats are there how many apartments are there or how many other rooms are there that are let out in the building or how many people are going to change i mean like if there is like uh, you are just renting a room from a flat 
so you may you will have to ask how many other people are going to share along with you because kitchen you can't have a uh, you know separate kitchen for each room right so it will be one common kitchen or one common bathroom for some five rooms right so you may have to ask that as well and you can ask for a laundry room as well if there is some place where you can go and wash your clothes if there is a washing machine a huge you know um a huge washing machine where people can go and wash their clothes for a time so you can uh, so so you can look into what kind of apartment that you've uh, that you're reviewing and based on it you can answer question whether the plan is has an open plan area so this is uh, this dialogue is about the studio apartment if it has an open plan area which is for living sleeping and cooking with a separate bathroom so you can live sleep and cook with a separate bathroom or so this ap uh, apartment has an open plan living area with kitchen it a separate bedroom and bathroom and do you have an apartment okay but i don't want to repeat it again and again you get an idea as to what kind of questions to ask here so you can ask about washing machine or dishwasher but most indian um, homes that are given out let out for rent don't have this uh, you know neither have washing machines nor dishwashers in the kitchen so and as far as yeah you could ask if you are a very a private person who likes solitude and some silence you could ask if the other tenants have children i know it's none of our business whether they have children or not um, there are bound to be children everywhere but if you're very particular about it and you are looking for a room where you can have some peace of mind there is no harm in asking about it am i allowed to redecorate the rooms again this is something you will have to ask because most of the time we tend to you know redecorate it put in some new furniture um i'm sorry the the, the birds are making a racket here or uh, or you could uh, yeah you could ask you need to ask also not you could you need to ask whether you can repaint if if uh, the walls are not really you know uh, are dirty with age or or if they are peeling off you know if, if the paint is peeling off from the walls you could ask them if you can redecorate or repaint and uh, you can ask about you need to ask about the rental lease for how long the lease is what the lease is or if there is a mortgage or you know all of it uh, no sorry or is there an advance deposit that you need to make okay and the have many other people view the room already no one is going to give you an on, honest answer about it um and it's none of your business if you really like it take it you don't have to ask this question when will you decide who gets the room so even i mean it now these two questions i don't think these are that necessary um but maybe in context they may be when would i be able to move in uh, so this is something you can ask so if there are already people staying in there you could ask when i can move in so that uh, you know you'd get a fair idea of uh, how much time there's left for you to make your preparations how much notice am i allowed to use a garden in the rear as in if if there are if there are play areas if there is a garden if there is some um, a terrace you can ask you have to ask the owner if that comes along with the you know for for uh, for the rent you're paying all right so if it is shared or if it's like exclusive to some particular one particular who or you know a, a people set of people renting a room elsewhere so in the next class we'll continue with this just uh, a few more dialogues to go and it's uh, i'm trying out of time so thank you stay safe be happy assalam alaikum this is all for now jazakallah khair